starting off overall, I guess, what are your impressions of the team so far this spring? Uh, I'm liking our team right now. I feel like uh, we're a little more on page. I wasn't here last spring, but it seemed like their spring got cut short. So right now I feel like we're on a really good pace, especially with having a new offense, having to work into that and stuff like that. And I feel like the new guys are also coming along pretty well. And, you know, for you personally, I know you just said you weren't here this uh, last spring, um, but, you know, a season under your belt, how much do you feel like that kind of helped you moving into this 2021 season now? Uh, it definitely gave me a big push. Uh, I started the last three games of the season last year, so it definitely gave me, like, that um, experience of getting to know what it's like to play an actual Division One football game, and it um, really pushed me towards being a better player this spring, knowing what to expect from guys and stuff like that. And, you know, new offense. You know, you bring in uh, Bailey, who's seen it before with Coach Kitley. I guess, um, what are the differences that you've noticed? And I guess, how has it been so far kind of transitioning to that? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I, I love Zappy. I love Bailey. Uh, he's a great quarterback, and he's a really intelligent quarterback. He knows coverages and stuff like that. And he's also a veteran. He's been in this offense for, I think, four years. And um, it's really good playing with a guy like that because, hey, he's a good guy. He's a great guy. And then, our line loves him, and then he really connects with our receiver, and he talks to us on and off the field, so we really have a good connection with him. And he's, as far as, like, timing and stuff like that, he's always on the money and pits ball where it needs to be. The list of receivers that you guys have on the team this year, um, it, you know, it just keeps going and going. It seems like there's a lot of depth, a lot of competition. You know, how much have you seen that play out this spring? Uh, we're definitely, uh, with the receivers, we're definitely a competitive group, and I feel like, a lot of the time that kind of amplifies our play because everyone's always trying to outdo each other and stuff like that. And it really feels good when there's a bunch of guys that can also go out there and make plays and stuff like that, where it's not just one guy doing everything. Everyone has a specific skill set and everyone's good at their own thing. So it's uh, good to see when we're all out there competing. And, you know, uh, spring's winding down at this point, spring game on Saturday. I guess what are your hopes to, um, you know, get out of the rest of the time that you have here? And, you know, what are your hopes for the spring game on Saturday? Um, really, I'm just trying to go into the spring and um, the spring game and really just put a big name out for myself. Uh, again, I said I only played the last three games of the season, and I really just want to give our fans like a big impression of me as a player and also give out to our coaches the last like kind of a big bang to end out with and make sure I have a good spring. So going into the summer, I don't have much to worry about. I'm in a good position for myself. Um, you know, first question I just asked Malachi, too. You guys are almost finished with the spring. Um, you know, new system going into place. Uh, how do you feel like things have been going so far for you guys? Uh, things have actually been going good. Like, before before spring started, we put a lot into learning the formations, learning the plays. So we basically just did spring twice. Like, so we, we stay in the film room. You know what I'm saying? We stay – our meetings actually – at first, when we first started doing meetings, we was in there for a long time, but now we got a hang of things. So everything be going like smooth. Uh, this new system, it seems like it's great for receivers uh, with how much you guys throw the ball. You know, I guess how enjoyable is it to play in in a position like you? Uh, it's lovely. Cause yeah, it's real lovely. Cause receiver, all you want to do is catch the ball. You know what I'm saying? And I think we throw it like 60% of the time, something like that. And it's amazing, but we actually got some great backs. So I feel like teams going to be so worried about us throwing the ball, and we're going to hand it off, and our backs going to go for some big plays. Now, you know, I know you uh, were banged up a little bit last fall, um, but, you know, you still saw quite a bit of action. You know, I guess what did you learn from last fall that you can take into, you know, this spring and, and next fall? I learned coverages, uh, game speed, like uh, – Basically, how to play like since since I it was basically just my introduction to the five like it's the intro to college football you know what I'm saying it was great I learned a lot I learned I'm still learning Coach Ellis is doing a phenomenal job he's teaching us everything we need to know from fronts all the way to safety alignments it's gonna really just tell you everything you need to know room um you know it seems like it's really deep it just seems like the, the list of playmakers just keeps going and going you know how competitive has it been in practice this spring oh uh, it's really competitive it's not like oh that one person gonna always make a play nah it's gonna okay he gonna make a play and then he gonna make a play too and then he gonna make a play right afterwards like so it, and we all cool with that it ain't like nobody's like stingy like oh no me 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 it's a whole lot of yeah you eat and eat but i'm gonna eat too so we all eat like when eat we all eat um, 
you know, with those, a lot of names there, is there anybody that you feel like might be flying under the radar that might just pop up and surprise some people? Maybe a younger guy or, or a new guy or something like that? Well, Therese, Therese trainer. Yeah. Therese, like, yeah, he really, he really under the radar. He make a lot of plays, but he's still like under the radar. He don't get, you know what I'm saying? But Therese, yeah. Things, like I said, uh, first question, things starting to wind down a little bit. You guys have that spring game on Saturday, um, you know, throughout these next couple of days and, and then the spring game Saturday, I guess, what are you hoping to get out of that? Uh, a real feel, like a real game feel, like see, get the real connection with the quarterback. Like, yeah, it's go time. And that's how we go. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to really get that out of that. You know what I'm saying? Coming off of last season, that injury, uh, saw you back out on the field this spring making some plays. You know, how good does it feel just to be back out there? Oh, it feels amazing to be back out there with my team once again, just trying to help us get better every day. And, you know, looking back at last year, um, before the injury, it seemed like you were really starting to come on strong. I guess, what did you learn, um, you know, from your time that you were able to get some action in some of these games? Uh, I learned that, like, uh, just, like, the transition from high school to college is way different than, Last season, like that was me transitioning into college, and then with the injury, yeah, it cut it short. But like now, since I'm back, like I'm ready for like full 100% college. And you know, coming back from that injury, um, you know, I guess what was it like? What types of things did you have to do? Um, you know, to come back and be ready already? Uh, it was a lot of therapy every day for about two hours. And, like during practices and stuff, I was still in there doing either academics so or I was in the training room with uh, Russ and Jess doing stuff. And, you know, um, I know you've had some injuries in the past, you know, going back to the high school days, um, kind of a rough road for you. I guess what keeps you motivated, keeps you coming back for more? Uh, it's just like me being the youngest, like out of all my brothers and sisters, just like watching them grow up and like seeing them like play like throughout college and stuff. It's like, I mean, now's my chance, too, so I mean, I'm just not going to let a little injury stop me from being where I'm at now. And, you know, with this new system in place with Coach Kitley coming in, I guess, um, you know, what kind of differences have you noticed in it? And I guess how's the learning process going for you and the rest of the guys? Uh, the big difference I've noticed is it's a lot more up-paced. Uh, up uh, there's a lot of deep balls here and there. We're just going to be throwing the ball all over you know, do you feel like that fits your style? Because I keep seeing these, um, you know, top speeds of these practices, and you're usually up in that top five. Oh, yeah, I love it. I love being in the top five every day. It just feels good to get out there and just go. And, you know, with, with Bailey coming in, obviously you had all that success, um, you know, with Coach Kittley down at Houston Baptist. What's it like playing with him and, you know, catching a ball from him? Oh, it, it's, a, it's a good experience uh, from learning from him and, like, just catching the ball from him. And, you know, I guess um, things starting to wind down a little bit. Um, what are you hoping to get out of the rest of the spring and, you know, the spring game comes Saturday? Uh, I just hope to just make sure everyone's injury-free and just, we're just competing. And, you know, then kind of heading into the summer and, and before the season, um, you know, personally, what are you hoping to, um, you know, get done or work on? Or I guess what are your goals heading into the next fall? Uh, goals heading into the fall, just get my body weight up. This is the main goal, really.